IAM protects businesses from the inside out. Identity and Access Management, or IAM, refers to the business processes, policies, and technologies that help manage and secure digital identities. IAM enables IT departments to control access to critical information in today's business environment where remote work is common and cyber threats are becoming more sophisticated. Here, we'll explain the purpose of and best practices for IAM. To dig deeper on all things cybersecurity, visit our dedicated site at the link above or in the description below. And remember to subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. So, why is IAM so crucial? Consider a financial services firm that handles data like social security numbers, bank account information, and tax documents. As the firm grows, managing all this data and who has access to it becomes chaotic. Imagine an analyst accessing sensitive data meant for HR, or a sales rep accessing top secret source code. Both scenarios could create a security and compliance nightmare, and both can be prevented with an IAM framework. Simply put, IAM ensures the right people have access to the right information at the right time. Specifically, IAM involves how individuals are identified in the system, how roles are identified and assigned within a system, adding, removing, and updating individuals and their roles in a system, assigning levels of access to groups or individuals, and securing a system and protecting its sensitive data. IAM also automates tasks related to tracking user privileges. It uses digital authentication technologies to initiate, capture, record, and manage user identities and access permissions. Key IAM technologies include unique, complex passwords, biometrics like iris or facial recognition, and multi-factor authentication. IAM is a broad concept that requires strategic planning and regular maintenance. So, where should an organization start? There are several best practices to consider. Since IAM impacts every department, it's best to assemble a team that involves a mix of corporate functions to develop, enact, and enforce IAM policies. Include members across business units who understand what access their departments need to which assets. Organizations should also centralize security and systems around identity, while establishing a process that allows them to evaluate the efficacy of their IAM framework. And IAM technology must be supported by an IT security team with the necessary skills and expertise of IAM functions. By following these guidelines, IAM can give users outside an organization access to its network and data across applications without compromising security. This results in better collaboration, increased efficiency, and reduced operating costs. However, IAM does have its risks if not managed properly. IT teams must consistently review and revise an organization's IAM posture to identify and mitigate security risks, especially when it comes to regular access reviews, overprivileged accounts, and password issues. Does your organization use IAM? Let us know in the comments, and remember to like and subscribe too.